find myself seven hours north of Toronto. I'm here with my buddies Brad and John and over the next four days we're getting into some whitewater canoeing, a little bit of fishing and definitely some camping here on the Tatachika Pika River. We have some beautiful weather but it's mid-spring so water levels are going to be really high and that means the water is also going to be really cold so dry suits are an absolute must. A forest fire happened here about 10 years ago which means that two-thirds of this route are going to be burnt out which will lead to some pretty interesting scenery. With that, we're just gonna get right into some rapids with some C2s, which should be interesting. Brad's paddled this route before four years ago, but this will be one of John's first times ever doing a whitewater trip. So that should be interesting. A little, little concerned. <laughs> I'm the least experienced paddle, whitewater paddler here, so. He'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be fine. But it's pretty easy to wind up. Yeah. It, yeah. Like yeah. You don't want to smack yeah. that rock. I mean, you'd be fine. I don't think you're in danger of tipping. This is pretty good flow-wise too. Like this is actually a really good warm-up. And then the best thing to do is kind of go down the wrong position. <laughs> oh, he's through the birth canal. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. John failed. I saw you on the Eddie. Eddie. Baby. It's done. Did you do that on purpose? Uh, not really, but I didn't fight it. I wanted to dump for a while. Got caught up I in those branches. I tried to Eddie out, but I was like completely stupid there because it was pushing me right into the trees. Thankfully, it wasn't more of a, a sweeper. It was like gentle enough that it wasn't crazy dangerous. I hit the rock like dead on. Oh yeah. Oh, I I ticked the rock actually. Did you jump in? How did it feel to, to swim though? Good. Yeah. I wanted to get the experience. You know, like feel better. Good. I'm glad that happened. Honestly. Yeah. Hey, no free rides, John. Oh, yeah. No free rides. <laughs> okay, I immediately feel so much better. Yeah, good. Oh, just, yeah, that needed to happen. It does. It needed to happen. Yeah, I, it happened to me at the beginning of uh, the Madawaska trip. I just got swept by like because we're playing in a rapid, and yeah, it's good. Yeah. You ran that well. Yeah, that was fine. I just. After I got past that, I was like so complacent. I was like, yeah, done. And then I was just like, let myself drift into the trees. Like anything could be a portage. Depends if you run or not. Great. What's the set? Uh, it's more of the same, but more sweepers. So you're here four years ago? Four years ago. Must have noticed a lot of growth in that time, eh? Yeah, so basically, the forest has kind of grown up at least two feet around here. The fire burned a decade ago, and now you can start to see some of the trees popping in. We got a lot of poplar and a lot of jack pine. So even though it's spring, it all looks like it's dead, but there's actually quite a bit of poplar coming back in there. That's a primary succession species that loves big, open, sunny areas. And of course, when the fire burns the canopy off, a lot of light soon grow. If you keep to the right, you have enough distance, but you have to stay to the right. I think I'm good to go. I was feeling good after the first one, and now looking at this one with even more volume, I'm, uh, I'm anxious again, but I'll portage if I... We're gonna watch Brad, and then we'll see. I'm gonna run it, unless, well, we're gonna watch Brad then. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs>
everybody! Unconventional! Woo! Everybody made it! We made it! A little moment of indecision and like, oh man. You can't hesitate when no. you go. You gotta keep playing the water. I love it. That's it, that's all the rabbits for the day. We have a couple kilometers of paddling to the campsite and uh, some much needed dinner. Do now. <laughs> say goodbye. Who do you want to say goodbye to Help. in your last moments? I love you, mom, dad. <laughs> ah, he's alive. <laughs> Breathe. Tonight for dinner, sweet potato, green pepper, onions, and sausage. There we go. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. This feels like a lot of vegetables. This one's new. OTs. There you go. Thank you, sir. Sausages. All right, that is a meal. Instead, I just ordered a little titanium box. Mmm, those sausages are killer. That'll do. That'll do. I'm so happy this worked out perfectly. It's delicious. It was easy to do. 
and it's in my belly. I was very hungry, and um, I think we're all kind of pooped and yeah. feeling the day. <laughs> I don't know if you could see me in the distance, kind of being like, ah, oh, oh, ready to put the camera down. And be like, <laughs> Not again. The honesty for about about half a second, I was thinking to myself, this is going to be a long trip. I've been rolling in bed now, uh, end of the first day. We jumped right into this trip with some pretty decent rapids and a lot more to come, including the ones tomorrow, which is uh, apparently there's a C3 with a ledge. Anyways, I'm just going to journal and go to bed, so uh, good night, everyone. exact same thing as my top priority here. Bacon, eggs. Tabasco. Mmm, that's good. So it's 10 minutes after 30 minutes till 10, and we're back on the water. We got Couple kilometers of paddling till we get to our first wow, set of C1, C2s. Long, windy day on the river with some interesting rapids ahead. Uh, don't know much to expect. The water levels are high. Feeling pretty good about it. Looking forward to a good day of paddling with my friends. God, is it ever nice to be back on the water. Beautiful day, good friends, interesting environment. First set of rapids for the day, 1.2 kilometers, C1, C2s. Right. So like I said, about one and a half, two kilometers of continuance. Uh, if we need to take some eddies, from what I recall, the best eddies are on the river right. And if we're uncomfortable, the safety word is Tallahassee? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> C1, C2s, we're in this barren 
burnout area and then we got a little bit of a paddle until we hit some ledges which is the potential portage. We'll see. I think it's a no. It's a pretty big curling. Ah. She big. There's a monster hole there. Yeah, it's just like it's a little big. The bow is just gonna plunge into that. They're gonna get eaten up. And then to the right there, river right, where it looks like you can almost squeak by. Look at that rock under the water. That's a no from all of us. That's too consequential. I was looking back, I'm like, what? You are kind of like slightly technical, but not like crazy, but still like. Kind of hard, but sort of like easy, but also very difficult. <laughs> yeah, Dan and Dan got it. <laughs> and just the two nights previous, I didn't sleep well. Hey, heroes. The yeah. goal is to still like. Try to push your limits, but if you feel you've reached your limit for it, then that's totally fine to just stick with it. I have full like confidence in myself to succeed, fail, or die trying. <laughs> I so I'm gonna run it. So that's too big for us to run right now. Too consequential. So we're gonna put in after the C3, run the C2s around the bend. John's gonna portage, me and Brad are gonna run it, and uh, we're all gonna meet up together and merrily paddle down the rest of the river together. Got a little bit close to that strainer, but uh, I grazed it. Well, I saw the line and I was like, oh, he's going a little wide. Going yeah, a little it wide, was a little wide. You made her. To be pretty simple, run the tongue right down there. Don't go to the center, kind of come over to the left and then follow the wave train out. Thanks, man. Inside, and I just like splashed up through the middle of it. There you go, right up. Yeah, I took on some water. Oh, nice. I just got through that rock. I heard a big bang. I hit it hard, man. Is that the one at the top? Yeah. Yeah, I did clear it. <laughs> it looked like you got through that smooth. Yeah, that rock I did. I thought if you clear it, did not. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Green. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah? Yeah. Favorite number? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Oh. What's yours, eight? Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> Why is yours eight? Uh, multiple reasons. My birthday is the 18th, so I took an eight off that. My birthday's on the 8th. Well, you're a December baby, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Nice. Nice, I like you. I like you too. I didn't like you before, but you're growing on me. <laughs> hey, John. Hi. John, we just Don't made discoveries. Me. 
I'm leaking, man. John, I can't me, afford any more. Me and Brad are better friends than you and me or you and Brad. Uh, no, I'm both of your best friends. <laughs> You can't paddle with us anymore, John. I am smudging your canoe with red so hard. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, get out of here with your red I'm paint. <laughs> can't wait until that canoe sinks to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Don't you ruin my immaculate paint job. Oh, the bow looks a little bit dented, eh? I'm not surprised. Does it? It looks like it just like full on like made love to a rock. So that's a set of C3 Rapids right there. Portage here to the left also, it's our campsite for the night. So we're gonna get out, pull our gear out, and then we're gonna go take a look. Me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make some black bean burgers. Yeah, chill out. It's yeah. okay to say no. John hit a rock. Go. Shit. He's got a nice big old dent here in the front, and apparently he's leaking. Is that it? That's gotta be it. Look Whoa. at how malleable that is. Okay. I heard him hit that rock down that rapid. It just thundered down the entire oh, rapid. Yeah, there's like water up in there. Oh, uh, we're gonna need to sponge that out. Yeah, if you can try to smop the water out so you don't have rot in there. What water? Like how? Well, you learn some things. Yeah. What are those things? Rocks and canoe are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight for dinner, same sausages as last night, and dehydrated lasagna. I dehydrated this at home, just bought a store-bought big old lasagna, and cooked it, threw it in the dehydrator, put it in a Ziploc bags, called her a day. Bit of sausage on a Friday evening, you know. What are, they, what are you making? Black bean burgers right now. You can grill them. You can do a lot of different things with them. Sort of like beans, veggies, rice, whatnot. But very versatile. My favorite thing to do with them, though, is just to turn them into burgers. It's fantastic. Delicious.
just slept well. That's good. I feel so much better. Like my anxiety's gone. I want to run this rapid now. Nice. Sleep's so important to you. Just everything about your brain. No doubt. Oh man. Except for your brain. <laughs> Nothing yeah. can help you. It works at all times, no matter what. At a level you could never imagine. Come on, Bradley. Brad, Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad, Brad. He's not sad. He's Brad. <laughs> <laughs> go on, get that fire going. Go on, get Get it, boy. Get that flame on high. Don't get my damn cop in the morning. I can get that brain going on. I can get that in rapids, eh? Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know you had that in you. <laughs> That's impressive. That accessory. Isn't I don't the know. marmot like a um, a family of animals? Yes. Eggs, cheese, green onion, salt and pepper. Same as yesterday. Like a really big tongue. So we're starting the day with this class two. We're gonna start nose upstream and we're gonna allow the water to grab our nose and we're gonna drift downstream. It's important we get to the far side of the river because there's rocks on this close side, which is the river left. And uh, other than that, it should be a piece of cake. Let's do it. Ugh. Hey, look at that. some pretty decent flow all day. The river's moving. We're gonna be hitting swifts, C1, C2s all day. I've been doing a little bit of fishing, but it's kind of unlikely that there's gonna be many bites. I think it's the time of year, the water's cold, things aren't moving as quickly. Honestly, what do I know? I don't know much about fishing. Uh, this is my guess. But it's a beautiful, lovely day in the sun with two good friends. So, yeah, happy to be happy. This looks like a good spot. Do like that too. Right. Grab something. You know. Wait, you knocked it down a bit there. And then just turn Lift right to, back the, just to the side. <laughs> Act normal. There. Yeah. If you don't boil it. Look at John, so pretentious with his black coffee. I can't believe you didn't pour mine second. You poured yours. You should have been poured last. We're at the point of the river where the forest fire area ends and we're getting back into some beautiful greenery. I love it. I miss the green. It's quite nice. There's also some C3 rapids ahead. They sound booming. Yeah, it looks fine. It looks like a lot. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. 
there though, but one huge hydraulic there, it's going to try to pull you to a two. Yeah, you definitely don't want to hit that hole. <laughs> It's still going to be quite the wave train over there, though. Yeah. We come too much in the middle, hit that flip, try to sneak on the inside of this, and then the inside of that. If not, the flip. So the plan is to power across well up here to the far side and try to sneak to the river right. Got a face full of a uh, sweeper. That was funny. Brad's gonna paddle John's canoe. Brad's the most experienced of all of us, so I think it's a very good call. Three boats! coming up to a falls and it's around a bend and we don't want to go over, ideally. The landing's narrow, maybe we should do one at a time. Okay. I'm good. You're good?
Feeling pretty lazy tonight. Gonna keep it nice and simple. Doing dehydrated chili that I made at home. Gonna call that good. It's probably a lot. The chili is runny, but it's time to eat. What an awesome day. It was like such a cool thing to go from all that burnout into this beautiful lush forest. It really makes you appreciate a green, growing, lively environment. That's for sure. Nice to be out here, but I kind of feel like going to sleep. It's been a long day. Good day. Good night. So that's that's it, that's the end of the rapids and it's quite funny because there was one enormous rock amidst these huge waves that I almost wrapped on. <laughs> it was very, very close to uh, a disaster right at the last rapid of the trip. What an exciting moment. Glad we got out of that one unscathed. <laughs> you go a little damaged, but we're good, we're good. So, got a seven to 10K paddle till we get back to the car. And that's, that's it. From the burnout to this beautiful lush forest along this river the whole way, hanging out with two great friends and just beautiful weather the whole time. Man, I'm looking forward to more summer tripping, more whitewater canoeing, and just hanging out with these guys because they're both amazing individuals. If you don't know, they both have their own YouTube channels. Lost Lakes is John, Explore the Backcountry is Brad, both amazing, inspirational creative, cool, outdoor content. I've been following them both for a while. Go check them out. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I have a feeling to be done. Feels good, there's a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah, you?